everyone, welcome to Faith and Flower. I'm Robin. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I clean out and organize our refrigerator and freezer drawers. I have a previous video on this, but I thought I'd show you an updated version because I changed a couple of things and I didn't include my freezer drawers in the last video. I usually do this as part of my kitchen zone cleaning, so it gets done about every eight weeks. And as you can see, by this time, the shelves really need a good wipe down. So because I have things pretty well organized, it's easy to pull the bins out that I have a lot of things corralled in and sort of go shelf by shelf and clean everything and put it back without too much effort. Starting with the top shelf, I'll just clear everything out and put it on the counter. Then using the orange and rosemary all-purpose cleaner from the Grove Collaborative, I wipe down the shelves and the side of the refrigerator. I've just started using this all-purpose cleaner from the Grove Collaborative and I really love it. I also purchased the glass bottle to mix it in. It has a silicone sleeve to keep the bottle safe from knocking against things. And the cleaner just comes in a two pack of concentrates that you just add to the bottle and then you add water to that and you're good to go. And I always use distilled water for my cleaners because we have hard water here and I don't want hard water spots to become part of my cleaning. Before returning everything to the refrigerator, I sort of go through, wipe everything down, and then check expiration dates to make sure that I toss out anything that is expired or that we're not using anymore. I will put a link for these bins, which I purchased from Amazon, below in the description box. And I will also include my referral link for the Grove Collaborative so that you guys can try them out as well. With your first order, using my link, you can receive a five-piece free gift set. cloth from Norwex and if you're familiar with my channel at all you'll know that I use these all the time and love them so I will have them linked below for you as well
bins can get really dirty with a lot of sort of crumbs and little bits and pieces of the fruits and vegetables that we keep here. So I have found that using a vacuum makes my job so much easier to get up all those little pieces before I wipe the drawer down. company Yihong Life sent me some of their reusable produce bags to try out and review for you guys and I wanted to show them to you because I absolutely love them. They come in a set of 15 bags. You get five of each of these three sizes, so small, medium, and large, and they come with a tag on the side that shows their tear weight so that you can deduct this amount if you're buying things from the produce bin and get a true weight of what you're buying. They are only $10 from Amazon, and I will put a link in my description box below in case you guys are interested. They are BPA-free, dye-free, recyclable, and washable. I have been loving using these in place of the plastic bags that they provide for you at the grocery store. It's so much more environmentally friendly. I even store some of my produce in them when I get home. And like I said, if they get dirty, you can just wash them and reuse them. wiping everything down I start to work on the door and because my bins are removable I just find it easiest to take everything out at once and clean them. guys but I always find the stickiest messes in these bins on the doors
always so nice to have such a clean and organized refrigerator. It really motivates you to keep on top of it. And I also like to clean it out when it's not too full. So now I'm ready to go grocery shopping and fill it all up again. Clean the stainless steel on the outside. I really love using my Norwex cloth and I just wet it with some water. You don't need to add any cleaning products and that's really the best part because a lot of the things that I have tried for stainless steel seem to leave a film that causes a buildup and there's no problem with these cloths. And I just follow it with this purple one which is the window cloth and that really gives it a nice shine. Now I'm moving on to our freezer and our freezers are housed in this drawer unit which is right next to our refrigerator. So a lot of people had asked me on my last video where was my freezer so I'm showing it to you guys this time. And it's rather small so it's important that I keep it organized. And I just do basically the same thing that I do in the refrigerator. I remove everything and clean it out really well. I'm using the vacuum because there's some kind of crumbs and things like that in here too. And then I go in with my Norwex cloth and some of the all-purpose cleaner to get it clean. And you know, I don't know how this happens in the freezer, but there's inevitably a lot of stuck on stuff that needs a little elbow grease. in our freezer to keep things compartmentalized like I do in the refrigerator. I just feel that this is a small space and I actually tend to almost file things as you can see that I'm doing. Um, that way I can easily see what's in there and get to it. And because it's a small space, this is what really works. And um, I'm moving those bags over to the middle because I just want to make sure that none of them get caught when you're opening and closing the drawer. And this is the system that works really well for this space. This bottom drawer I reserve exclusively for my son's gluten-free items. It's just so much easier to keep them in here and most of the things stay the most fresh when you keep them frozen and take them out as you use them. So I'm just going to do the same thing in here, vacuum it out, wipe it down good with the all-purpose spray, and then organize everything when I put it back in. I keep these little freezer packs in this drawer for my son as well because he uses them when he packs his lunch. And having this particular drawer dedicated just to his gluten-free items really helps because when he's fixing himself a snack or a meal, he knows that everything in this drawer is safe for him. The same Norwex cloth that's really good for cleaning stainless steel is also good on all the other surfaces in my kitchen. So I'm just using it to clean out the little gasket area here and then I'll also wipe down the cabinetry and the handles on the outside. Thank you guys for coming along with me today as I cleaned our refrigerator and freezer. I hope you found it motivating and if you liked it make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel I would love to have you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.